Okay, so if we then here's my FTP for my server and let me select the right one sites slider so if we put that in there and we'll have a look at it in the browser uh, slider HTML. Right, at the moment all you can see is these the two buttons. The reason we can't see any of the images is because we haven't defined a, a height and width for them. So at the moment um, the slide doesn't uh, doesn't think that there's actually anything there, although quite clearly we have that there. So what we need to do now is we need to create the CSS styles. Um, so you go File, New, and there's um, quite a few that we need to add in, so I'll just run through them quickly. So the first one is Body. Um, Body width, I'm just going to set this up so basically we're confining it to a uh, space on the middle of the page um, that's centrally aligned. And we're going to do that by using width 800 pixels, margin 0, and then auto, um, and background color, we'll just set it back, blur, black. Background color, yes, American spellings for it, I know. <laughs> Not that that matters at all. In fact, I don't really see why I need to U in it, but oh well. <laughs> there we go. So then we need to do the container one. Um, oh yeah, and um, for those of you using a Mac, um, to get the ha to you get the hash symbol, it press and hold Alt and then the three numerical three key, and that's how you get the hash uh, symbol up. Because I forgot about that when I came to use my new MacBook um, after not using a Mac for a while. Um, so I had to Google it quickly, but yeah. Right, we're setting the a relative. There we go. Setting the position to relative. Um, the reason we're doing this is so that this gets placed centrally in the page, and then what we do, uh, it'll also allow the two buttons that you can see over here to. Um, it allow those two buttons that we use for the navigation to. Um, to float them over the top of the image properly and set them in the right uh, location so that you can, so they're on the edge of the images. Uh, margin, right. What we're doing now is just pulling it in a bit so, because actually the width I'm probably going to use for the slider is 700 pixels, so we'll create a bit of space either side of the container, uh, which will allow us to put the, obviously, will allow us to put the buttons either side of it. They're not that big, but just in case, then we'll do width is 700 pixels and in fact let's write down margin top put another 50 in there brilliant and finish that one off and then we need to do the previous ones and its position absolute this is because where we're going to place it on the page now is um, it, it's fit is basically fixing it to this point on the page, um, but it's telling it to be 175 pixels inside this ID element, which is obviously inside container. Um, so yeah, um, because otherwise it will be used the global sizing of the page, and instead of the button being where it's supposed to be it would wouldn't be anywhere close uh, z-index is very useful it basically sets the sort order or display order of items or elements on the page um, and copy that and ooh, undo copy that that's pretty much the same next um, because uh, it's very useful because obviously you can set whether something's behind text in front of it, whether these images will be on top of the text, uh, the images which we want them to be, uh, things like that. And then we need to change left to right and change out 21. This is what I've used before again. Uh, you can fiddle around with these things because actually I don't think the right one is quite aligned properly still. But I will. And now we'll just do the styles for slider. This won't affect the jQuery in any way. Um, Basically, all the jQuery is using it has to have a name that it can associate with, or a class it can associate with. I'm just going to reinforce the width at 700 pixels, and 
the height. This will, this is basically what uh, it applies to the each image, and the height to 400 pixels. And we're going to put a border, oh border, border, one pixel, solid. Hash key uh, three zeros for black, short key, and that is all the CSS you need. So going to go ahead and go file, save as. Um, go back into my site, and we're going to save that as what we called earlier, which was style.css, and hit save. There we are. That all pops up correctly. Go back onto my FTP, and there it is. Style, drag it across, uploaded to it. So let's refresh the page. Hey, and there we go. Oh, I've done the um. That's it. I've just done the um the background color wrong. Background color was for the page. Oh, wrong one. I meant to put that as white because then you can actually see a clear line around it. You may not want it to, but I uh, I quite like it. Let's refresh that. Load it back up, place. There we go, and there you have it. Um, that is the CSS and the HTML for it. Uh, now I'm just going to quickly show you the um, configuration you can use for the um, for the J well with the jQuery slider plugin. That's it. So go back to my viewer here and J slider open with. TextMate. There we go. Um, right, there's a lot of code here. You don't actually need to bother with a lot of this because a lot of this uh, is sorting out what it needs to do. You need to bother with this top here, this top part here. That's all you need. Um, and in fact, you don't even need all of these. So you don't need to touch the button prev uh, or button next, button go. You don't need that. Mouse, we don't need. Right, auto. So if you set that to true. Save that and upload it, for example. So J slider. Oop. Replace. It will automatically slide it for you, which can be uh, quite nice, quite dynamic uh, as well on the page for a person to load up the page and then see the images scrolling across. Um, really, really nice. Uh, you can obviously then and go back and forth as you wish um, but the auto will then kick back in and it'll be just be flowing around to the right uh, so I'm going to text me again so I'm going to put that back to false uh, the speed is you know you can change it um, obviously the larger the number the longer it's going to take so if I set that to 800 instead of 1800 and let's save that place, refresh, it'll do it a lot quicker. And this is where you get some juddering in Safari. It doesn't happen so much in Firefox or Internet Explorer, um, but occasionally in Safari you will see it juddering across the top a little bit, uh, which isn't so good. But it's actually working pretty well at actually that speed, but you don't necessarily really want it at that. So keep it that. Uh, easing I uh, don't need to bother about that. Uh, it does it already for you? Um, vertical. Um, that would be if you wanted it to go up and down. I think instead. I haven't actually played around with those things. Let's try it true. And let's, because presumably then you would then just move the your buttons around. Uh, place them up and down instead. Yes, yeah, so it's going to come up from the bottom this time. Which again is quite cool, so you can do that. Uh, so you'd have an up and down maybe. Um, that would be quite cool. Um, I like mine going round. And you and then circular. Um, if you don't, if you change that to false, it will basically it won't keep looping. Um, basically, uh, the rest of that you don't need to touch. Uh, and that is pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If there's any, if you've got any more questions, you know, just please let me know. Post a comment. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And 
watch out for my next video, uh, few videos. Cheers, guys.